And it's not really a surprising statement to make anymore after what Morgan Siblick accomplished last year. I feel like Callum is going, well, it's my turn here in 2022. Yeah, and uh, well, he's the, the pressure of qualifying is off. Um, as you hear, there's a siren going, so we're off and running. Heat number one in the opening round. But, you know, it, I think what Morgan did last year is just prove that anything really is possible. And as a rookie, you don't need to, to just go for that. Oh, let's, let's just get in a qualifying position. When he lost heats early this season, he realized he just wasn't on the best waves. We saw how that turned around when he took out Kelly at Bells. Kicking things off with a wrapping turn is Sammy Pupo. Will kick off the heat against all the rookies. Nice fading turn. Whitewater on the face, but wants to fit in another top turn before kicking out. We'll start to see the scale set this morning. Progressing uh, position as we see. Really difficult takeoff here. Just That was a huge amount of whitewash to be able to just power out of that. Opens up with a nice flowing carve and a second. One thing I've noticed straight off the bat, Joe, is the extra length in the surfboard under, the, under his feet here. Looks like he's possibly riding, you know, maybe the biggest board that he's brought here to Western Australia. Looks like we'll have the Whitewater chip in for Sammy Pupo. Ton of open face on a gigantic oh. left. That Whitewater section is going to take him out. Unable to execute a maneuver. But that just takeoff will go with his opening score. 417 and now an incomplete number. Stretched out bottom turn for Callum Robson. Couple of fading hooks on the open face. And he's going to straighten out with two big sections colliding. And Robson couldn't hang on when those sections met on that inside shelf. It sort of breaks out to see a little bit. It doesn't stand up, whereas the right hand is like this. Very long bottom turn to start things off for Callum. Cuts that one a little bit short, but gets n nice to kind of open up and get some work done. And here's this, uh, here's this sort of coat hanger of whitewash that comes at you. Wondering what he was going to do. He's got a very solid confidence about him that Taj was very impressed with for a rookie on tour. Now at the 18 minute mark, just saw the first wave for Emai Kalani Devault. Yeah, not a bad wave too for Emai. Just streaking down through this final section here. And unfortunately just does not get that uh, that final hit that he was looking for. We check out under the cut, our surfers in trouble. You see Emai Kalani Devault way down on the list behind Jadson, right ahead of Matthew McGillivray. Wow. Under the lip hook, a solid maneuver for Emai. A lot of power with that layback hack. Well done, especially for what we've seen so far. We've seen a lot of nice clean carving work, but he got to really capitalize on a big layback section. That's the separation he was hoping for. Yeah, best turn of the heat by far. Let's check the replay. So he could see this big section looming up in front of him, kind of like a TP coming at him, and he just uh, stabs it up there with a nice layback hack. Didn't overcook it. Turns right at that three-quarter up the face mark. And you can see here all his <laughs> all his focus right now is to just outrun that whitewash wall behind him. Stays nice and low. Just reducing the target area for that foam to hit him. They don't count turns anymore. One explosive maneuver can give you a solid number. Take off from deep. Sammy Pupo fades the first cutback. Got a one on the left. That's going to be gone. So he lays down another front side car. A lot of foam on the face. See if he can get the end section. Times it well to get the finish. Smart surfing from Sammy Pupo. And look, you can see how stoked he is there. So with uh, just under 15 minutes to go, you know, Sammy Pupo's put together a, a, an OK scoreline here. Steep takeoff as well. Gave him a ton of speed. Really late takeoff. And just watch how much area he covers as he drives around that foamy section. Tight hook back into the whitewash. And again, just riding over those uh, ridges there. Absorbing all that uh, bump and energy in the thighs. Critical point here where he finishes that turn. 
A little uh, drop out of the lip floater to, to finish off here. Hard section to negotiate with all this foam. And look how he projects out of the lip, comes down before that, uh, before the whitewash explodes behind him. Welcome back to the Marga River Pro. I am here on the stairs for the Oakberry Surf Conditions. It is absolutely huge today. We've woken up to swell from the west, southwest, uh, and the, the yeah, winds super, super offshore and clean still. The boys are out there at the moment in round one doing, going absolutely mad, getting some huge sets. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a massive day. The boys want to still ride smaller boards so they can uh, do their turn. So even Jackson Baker heading out in the next heat, he's only riding a 6.4. So like Richie was saying before, usually you'd see people riding 8.0s today, but these boys want to do high performance surfing. Where it would take away from any performance like the layback he might did. If he had too much board in front of it, might not have looked as dynamic as we see. A solid start once again for Callum Robson. Laying down that hammer on the open face. Wanted to provide a solid second score. It's been a few minutes since we saw him on his 4.5. Let's see what happened. Just uh, biding his time as this thing starts off. Jeez, he's got a good bottom turn on him. A soupy section there that he rides through. I, you know, I think Callum possibly riding a 6.4 or 6.5, somewhere around that, uh, which I think is probably the right length for today. This is all about lengthening the turn in, in waves like this, drawing the turn out and having more control. Callum Robson, the heat leader now, got a 5.5 on his last, number six in the world, lays down a bit of a down carve on the opening section. Just resetting on the open face. This thing pushing him aggressively down the line. He's got an oncoming section, hits it hard off the top. And Callum hangs Whoa. on, goes right over that shallow shelf, and rides away free. They're not going to have those situation updates. Callum maybe will end up hearing the score he gets for that, maybe not. Like, who knows? Um, I don't know. It's a really exciting day down here, and just overhearing some of the surfers as well. Jackson Baker, absolutely terrified paddling out. Like, there is a lot of water moving. There's a lot to handle out there, and I think it's it's a great day to see what the guys are going to be able to bring to the table. Thanks so much, Shannon. As we see that big finish once again from Callum Robson, definitely the best finish we've seen so far this morning, Rich. Yeah, no doubt about it. He just turned this three to four point ride into a six to seven point ride purely off the strength of that final turn. I, I was surprised, Joe, that 5.50. Oh, personally, I didn't think it was quite as uh, as dynamic and as strong as Emi's uh, in a turn that he did. Catching up to the left for Sammy Pupo, an important wave here. Really important. Wow, gets it up high into the lip, a nice snap to start off. The big swooping cut back, back into the foam. And a third turn on the open face, but but kind of flat, it's not really bowling out at him. And then gets a, a fourth turn as well, so he strung together four decent turns, Joe. Not afraid to travel, he's done some events in the Junior Series, and he's made a big mark on the top 34 this season already. Off the bottom and setting up a first turn is Emai Kalani Duvall, needing a 7.17 for the lead. Trying to fit in a final turn, tough section to ride away clean. Really difficult wave for Emi to ride with all that foam. Looks like Callum's going to get a victory lap. This is, will be his last wave of the opening round. Stretched out bottom turn. You saw that board shattering through the open face. Controls it for a wrapping turn and will try to get this final carve off early. But with that convergence, he will go down. Just stuck in the vortex on that one. Our judges will be paying close attention to that. Is a replay of Callum Robson, and uh, you can see there as he was just trying to get that rail engaged. The board uh, was just trying to skip out on him, and he muscles through it. And then here, just in the vortex, Sammy Pupo scores are in a 4.9. Oh, not enough. Emi stays in second. Callum takes the win to head straight into the round of 32. Wow. Opening round continues here at the Margaret River Pro. Another young heat coming up next with Baron Mamiya taking on Jackson Baker.